All right, so what are your plans for after eighth grade? After eighth grade, uh, as soon as I can, I'm joining the workforce. What are you going to do specifically? Uh, I'm not sure yet, but I hope to join a construction crew, something with hard work, or maybe cementing, flat work, concrete. Are you going to be working for your family, or will you be moving? I'll probably be working for my family as long as I, at least till I'm 18. I'm not sure what I'm doing then. It all depends on how it goes, yeah. if what, I, what I'm doing, how I'm doing, relationships with the family. Yeah, but I'm planning on staying until I'm working for my family, supporting the family. Yeah. Tell us more about your experience at Westview. What has this been like, especially interacting with diverse students? It's great. You get to know a lot of people. The atmosphere is fun and friendly, laid back. It's not, you don't get in trouble a lot. So that's about it. I mean, that's not it. I, you just have to, oh, dang it. You're doing great. Um, it's, oh, dang it. I messed up. I messed up. St start over. You're good. Right. You're doing fine. The atmosphere is it's it's fun and friendly. You get to learn, uh, get to know a lot of people, a lot of different people, and. Well, why is understanding diversity important? Uh, to not. Understanding diversity, it's so you understand other people and like when you meet new people in society, you know how to not make it awkward. When you meet new people, different people, get used to it. And you share that a lot of your Amish friends, actually the majority, also enter the workforce after eighth grade. Yeah. And what kinds of things are they doing? Well, a lot of them, any jobs that the community provides, there's RV is a big one, construction, I mean, yeah, factories, RV, RV factories, that's probably the biggest one in here. It's like, it's big money if you, if you hit it right. My dad was, my dad is really successful in that, and yeah, I'm hoping, for me, I'm hoping to be construction for the experience. Then when I turn 18, I can go online, like the production line in, in the RV factories and get where, which that's where the money is. And when I turn 18, I'll join the RV factory. That's my plans. Unless I'm doing well in the construction. Tell us about um, behind us. So what are you guys learning in this particular class? Behind us, we're learning actually a lot of skills that will be useful in this uh, community. Like we learn forestry, which is important. Uh, soils, knowing what your soils, like your, the, the, ground this, the ground this school is built on, knowing what it's good for and what it's not good for. And then we did woodworking, which woodworking is another big, big, uh, big one in the uh, workforce in this community here, like woodworking, making cabinets, tables, chairs, wood, wood, all wood, that's big. And then right here, we're doing taxidermy. This taxidermy, it's learning how to animals, wildlife management, and all that, that stuff, you know, all the happy stuff that goes with it. Would you say that many of your Amish friends who are entering the workforce, do they stay here locally, would you say? Yeah, most of them. Most of them stay here locally? Yeah. Many say that, you know, high school, going on, going on to high school and college, that really isn't the path for me. And you said that really it's about experience. That's the most important. Elaborate more on that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not against college, but my, our belief, the Amish belief is you don't go on through high school, stop at eighth grade. And some Amish go on through high school, but you can go to college and learn all these things about how to do something, but experience is still the best teacher in life. 
you, you might be, get taught, but there's still something that you have to, some things you just have to figure out yourself in life. Yeah. And um, do you want to elaborate more on that lifelong learning? Because I think that's really important. Uh, like, well, yeah, I mean, people think that college degrees are sometimes enough, and they're not. Well, sometimes, but you still have to get that experience. But there are some jobs that you do need to be taught, taught about it, doctors, things like that. The jobs in this community, like woodworking, RV factories, most of them, uh, it's, you don't even, you, you get taught on the job, like apprentice. But I know there was, uh, my dad, he, he was, uh, it was, there was a college, they wanted to set something up that they can get this degree and they'll be so and so in this college. My dad and his superior said no way because that way if they get, they're not doing what they're supposed to, they can't say, oh, we have this in degree and you can't fire me or you can't, yeah, something like that. It's because, it, I, I'm not sure what he said, but it was something about they don't want it. Even, even his higher ups said they don't want it because people try to throw their weight around around their degree that they're trained for this and but they're they might be trained for it but they're still not better the best because yeah it's it's a good school I'd recommend this school I hope my kids can go to this school it the atmosphere is great students are great the faculty is great pretty much everything is great it, it's I especially like this program it's it teaches me a lot of stuff about what I'm going to be able to use in this this community. The jobs we have teaches you a lot. Of, teaches you a lot of, about worth ethic. Got to get stuff done, not slacking off either. What, the, you have to pull your own weight. One of the uh, your principal talked about the culture of the school and said there's a lot of discipline here and you guys are really hardworking. Would you agree with that? Yeah, Good. definitely.